Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vince Almond Scott Selections here for Monday, October 24th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had two plays to go through, so I'll go through them in order. Starting off with the NFL play from the play of the day video a couple days ago. Gave out a winner with the Broncos team total under 19 and a half and minus 136 on FanDuel. Line dropped to 17 once Russell Wilson was ruled out, and it did not matter. The Broncos only scored nine points. So nice winner there. And then yesterday, won in baseball with the Astros money line at plus 111 on Bet Online. Very entertaining game. Yankees led a couple of times and choked it a couple of times, or choked it away a couple of times. But either way, I can't believe Houston was plus money. Uh, they're the much better team, and they won the game. So either way, 2-0 and day for plus 1.85 units. Look for another winning day here on Monday. And for today's play, they did go into Monday Night Football in a matchup only a gambler could love between the Bears and the Patriots, taking place at around 8-15 p.m. Eastern time. And for this matchup, I'm going to take a fun prop. Now, it might not be available in all books. However, if it's not, there is some alternatives you could take instead. It's going to be an alternative to the Bears total touchdown prop at one and a half. And instead, we're going to take Cairo Santos, the Bears kicker, under one and a half made extra points at minus 120 on bet MGM. Time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like the under one and a half extra points made by Santos. First reason, shopping around, there's really a discrepancy that makes no sense. Bears under one and a half touchdowns is minus 140 on DraftKings, but you're getting the same bet at minus 120 on BetMGM, and you could have Santos either miss an extra point or they could go for a two-point conversion. So you're picking up extra draws to win while also saving 20 cents, which I think is a very great deal. But to go through Santos' numbers this season, let's just say he has not kicked many extra points because he's made less than two extra points in four of his first five games this season. On top of that, New England has been very good defensively as the Patriots have allowed zero extra points in each of their last two games. And of course, the Patriots are at home, so the crowd should be into it in Foxborough on a Monday night. And New England's also been very good in time possession. We know New England wants to run the ball, and they want to really go on some long drives. And they've been successful lately, whether Jones was a quarterback or Zappi over the past couple of weeks. But New England ranks sixth in time possession, while Chicago ranks 31st. In other words, I don't think Chicago's going to have the ball that much in this game. I think New England will be able to move it pretty well. Chicago is very underwhelming against the run this season. And I think as a result, you might see either Stevenson or Harris, because Harris is back in the lineup, potentially go nuts. And I think as a result, New England should be able to eat up six minutes or so, seven minutes or so on several drives throughout this game, which should result in less possessions for Chicago. But also, New England's defense, we know, has a very good pass rush, and they also have a pretty good secondary. The problem is Justin Fields might not be able to throw. And I'm I'm trying to figure out how to say that without sounding like I'm completely just defending him, but I'm being honest. I don't think Justin Fields is that good. And the fact that the Bears really never let him throw the ball is a testament to that. And since the Bears pretty much only want to run and the Patriots are decent against the run, I do think you're going to end up seeing Chicago struggle offensively. We saw them even move the ball well. We saw them get a bunch of yards against Washington, and red zone execution was awful as they only scored seven points. But to go through Fields' numbers here, he had 27 pass attempts against Washington. He had 21 against Minnesota, 22 against the Giants, 17 against the Texans, 11 against Green Bay, and 17 against San Francisco. They, they really don't want him to throw the ball. And I think as a result, you will see a lot of running clock throughout this game, which should result in less possessions. But at the end of the day, Chicago's offense is one of the worst in the league. New England's defense has been cooking lately. And I do think as a result, you'll see the Bears probably struggle to reach the end zone twice. But even if they do, you do have a fail-safe draw of either a missed extra point or even going for two. And that that's the case, you end up basically winning this bet. But I'll dare the Bears offense to beat me in Foxborough against New England on a Monday night, and I don't think they'll be able to do so. So play that once again here for Monday, October 24th. is going to be on Cairo Santos, the Bears kicker, under one and a half made extra points at minus 120 on bet MGM. Bye, everyone.